Hey guys, I'm Adventurer32, and this is Gems Explained in 4 minutes. Gems are a type of equipment in Good Game Empire with their own separate storage from the other pieces of equipment. They can be embedded on weapons, artifacts, helmets, and chest plates, but not heroes. Once you embed a gem into a piece of equipment, that piece of equipment benefits from the gem's bonuses. It costs some gold to embed a gem, but will cost tons of rubies to remove them from a piece of equipment. So once you embed a gem, unless you're a ruby player, it's usually stuck there. There are 13 different levels of gems, with each having higher bonuses than the last. For example, a level 1 Castellan Courtyard gem increases combat strength in the courtyard by 3%, a level 3 increases it by 5%, a level 8 by 10, and a level 10 by 12. If you can get a higher level gem by forging the gem you want to forge in the center, and 6 gems that don't have to be of the same type, but do have to be of the same or higher level around it. When you forge a gem, it has a chance to fail, increasing with the level of gem you're trying to forge. It's practically impossible to forge a gem higher than 8th level, so you can really only get these gems from event rewards. There are 10 different types of gems, split up into two categories, commander gems and castellan gems. For commander gems, there are courtyard gems, frontal space gems, flanking gems, fire gems, looting gems, and return speed gems. For castellans, there are courtyard gems, wall space gems, fire reduction gems, and safe storage gems. For commander gems, courtyard gems are generally the best gems, as they are useful in both large battles where most fighting will take place in the courtyard and medium-sized battles. These gems are best used on PvP commanders, or on commanders where you expect to do a lot of PvP and or attacking fallen and blood co castles with. Flank and frontal space gems are mostly useful in certain situations, unless you are trying to make a certain type of commander, which is particularly good at breaking through either flank or gate defense. Be warned, however, that if the defender is online when you send your attack with flank gems, they could opt to defend the center instead, or vice versa, and now you have less of a courtyard combat strength bonus than if you had used courtyard gems. So flank and frontal space gems can be risky to use in PvP. Fire gems are normally only useful if you want to ruin a player's day by setting more fires in their castles than your attack would normally cause, but don't help in combat at all. Looting gems are useful for sending out attacks against RBs or Wobble Borons to get more loot, although since there is a maximum amount of loot you can get from that, they are of limited use. The best way to get there um, is to form in inactive players' castles for resources. Loot torn speed gems are all almost completely useless as maps will do the same thing but don't take up a gem slot. For Castellan gems, like Commander gems, Courtyard gems are generally the best gems as they will be most useful when attacking armies are coming at you, and they are large, which is when you will most need them. Wall space gems are somewhat useful, as they make you more likely to hold the wall, but are best used on alternate castellans to better defend against smaller attacks. Fire gems are useful for making fire castellans, which are castellans meant to reduce fire damage from attacks when you lose. However, safe storage gems are almost completely useless, as hideouts accomplish the same thing, only much better and easier. That's it for this video guys, like if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't, and subscribe and ring the bell for more Good Game Empire content.